welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I don't want to blabber on, but I did get the new Millennial Pink palette from Melt Cosmetics. And I did kind of show you guys what the inside of this palette looks like. So I just want to quickly hop into swatches and then I will show you some comparisons to my other palettes from Melt in my collection. And then we'll do an eyeshadow look and I will show you some other palettes in my makeup collection that remind me of this palette. So here are the first five shades. I have Rosé Brunch, Pink Leather, Flamingo Dream, Mixed Emotions, and Modern Love. And then I have the last five shades. And this palette has one, two, three, four, five shimmers, and five mattes. So let me swatch the shimmers. Wow, this is swatching terribly. So then we have Ruby Spar, which is this glitter shade right here, Pink Noise, Moon Glow, GF, and Euphoria. I use these three shades on this eye and then a majority of the pinks on this eye, and I did throw in some pink in this eye too, so you'll see all of that in the demo. So now really quick before I show you guys the demo, let me show you my other Melt palette. So I only have three other palettes from Melt. They weren't my first love, that's for sure. I bought the 27 palette from Melt and I didn't quite love it. So then when I saw Smoke Sessions, I had this like huge dilemma. Should I buy it? Should I not buy it? I did buy it. Mine is one of those palettes that is puffing up a little bit, but I still really enjoy the formula of this palette. So it is one of my prized possessions. And then I did buy their Blueprints tack. This is so embarrassing, but I've not really used this on my eyes. It definitely is gonna be in a try and buy series at some point. So I do have that stack. And then everyone and their mom, including me, fell in love with the Amore Eterno collection. And this had some stellar formulas. I really like them. I didn't have any trouble working with them or blending them or anything like that. So I do really, really enjoy these two palettes. And then we came to Millennial Pink and the Modern Love collection. So I think these are, yep, same size, same profile, all of that good stuff. So I do really like that it's the same size. I like the packaging and everything. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get in to a demo of how I created both of these eye looks for you guys. Okay guys, so usually I use my skin tone base for P. Louise, but today I'm just gonna use my white P. Louise base. I'm not gonna pack on a ton. And this is the same brush I use for the nude color one, so I guess it's turning my base nude. Oh shit. Oh well. I love this eyeshadow base. I've talked about it in multiple videos. So that's what I used. And today we are playing with my February palette number two, and it's from Milk Cosmetics. So here's how everything came packaged. I only bought the palette I didn't buy anything else from the Millennial Pink collection, and it came with this really cute card that shows the two owners. This is the box packaging. It's beautiful, it has like this beautiful texture to it. Made in the USA, Mel Cosmetics 12 month shelf life, net weight 19.26 grams or 0.68 ounces. And for the main event, here is what the palette looks like and then here is what the inside looks like and then on the back it has like this cool like hollow effect do you see that so it's very cute and I believe it's the same size as the other palette so I will get to that in the end so 
I just posted this on my stories and you guys said you would like to see like a demo, swatches, all of that. So I want to do a demo. Usually I plan to film multiple videos after I film my eye look for my channel. But today I don't really have, I have one video I should film, but I think you guys may like it better if I do two different eye looks on my different eyes. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I really want to do like a halo eye with the black and the gray and the silver. So Moon Glow, GF, and Euphoria. I haven't done a halo eye in a long time. So I think I'm going to attempt that first. Let's see how it goes. So I'm just grabbing GF, which is the gray shade on a little pencil type brush from Morphe. This is the M169. And I'm going to place that on the outer corner and the inner corner just to get that blend started. <clears throat> I'm filming this after work and I knew this palette was going to be here today so I didn't wear any makeup for work today so I just really wanted to film and see if I can get this video up fast for you guys because it kind of helps with the views in YouTube land. So here we are. So I think the trick with the halo, I don't, I don't do them a lot, but is to kind of build up the two corners and then also blend up. This is a very difficult color, you know, gray and blacks. Like they can make me look like I have a black eye real quick. So I'm trying to use a small brush and blend really carefully. I thought the melt shadows paired really well with the P. Louise base when I used them for the Morte Eterno palette stuff. So I think this should work out okay. My lungs are mm, being kind of moody, <laughs> but I'm hoping we can make it work. So I want to grab a, another blending brush. This is a Sigma. E33 and I want to go into the shade Modern Love which is like a beautiful pink and kind of blend on the outer edges. <clears throat> Soften it up going into the brow. It's a pretty color. It's like a rosy terracotta shade. Very beautiful. Okay now I'm going to go back into the Morphe brush. Grab more of that gray. Build it up into the crease again. Blending really well. It's building up really well. I don't feel like there's any fallout, so I like that. And yeah, that looks good. So now I'm gonna go into Euphoria, which is the black shade. I'm just trying to dust off my brush so I don't <laughs> pick up too much product and screw this up, so. So I'm really trying to concentrate the black to the outer corner, not too much in the crease and the inner corner, just to help darken things up. I think I like that. So now I wanna go in to the silver shade. I don't know, do you guys think I should put some white on there? I'm not too worried. I'm gonna try it without, without, um, a cut crease. I'm going to spray my brush with the Ofra setting spray. I never use this one, so I would pulled it out for a different video. And I'm going to start tapping that silver shade on the middle of my lid. This one is pretty flaky. I probably could have used a base. I'm going to try my finger. I'm not a finger gal, but I um, bit all my fingernails off, so now I can do um, eyeshadow with my finger because I don't have long nails. Oh, that's... What do you guys think? Do I look crazy? If I do, I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying to do something different, so bear with me. I had a vision when I was getting this palette that... 
I could do like a beautiful smoky silvery halo eye so eh, not bad I think it'd be interesting if we could see both eyes haloed up but you know one of I don't hate that um, if you guys are experts at halo eyes you guys can give me a rating <laughs> I don't know what to expect uh, okay I don't feel like it's too bad going into the Morphe brush just gonna blend that and there's a little bit of fallout from the gray shade but I think that's pretty much it okay now I feel like I've packed too much on because it's like make it crumble so I need to stop and now I'm gonna do this eye so now I want to use the pinks because I use these three shades to create this entire eye look I guess I can go into pink noise I'll just grab a flat little brush like this so I'm just gonna go into pink noise which is like this beautiful brow bone looking situation Ooh, it's like a it's got a pink shift to it Ooh, I like that <laughs> that's cool Wow, huh? I don't know if my camera is gonna catch just like catch that, but that's pretty cool. Oh my god, no, there's just glitter everywhere. I don't know what I use. Oh, I use the new milk makeup lotion. I got a sample of it, and I don't think I like it because it's like I've got like bits of cream in my hair. Anyway, I think I can use pink noise as a inner corner. Ooh, that's kind of fun. It's a little bit more crumbly than I want it to be, but that's okay. Um, now I'm gonna go into the pink side. So I have some clean brushes because I sat and cleaned all of my brushes the other day. And I kind of want like a blending brush. Okay, I'm gonna grab this very fluffy one. I'm gonna go into Flamingo Dream, which is like a beautiful pink. Ooh, that's pretty. And I'm just like messily blending. I'm gonna grab that little flat brush and throw pink noise into the brow bone. My hairy brow bones. I need to get my brows waxed. But that's an added expense that I don't want to pay for right now. So we're just going to deal with them being bushy. Because that's life. Okay, so with the same blending brush, I'm going to go into... Actually, I just want to add a little bit more of my a Flamingo Dream. And then I'm going to go into Modern Love, which is that shade I used to blend in the outer corner. It's a little bit darker than... Uh, Flamingo Dream, so I'm just adding that messily all over the crease. This is like the um, Naked the Rose palette. What is it called? Is it called the Naked Rose Gold? I can't remember. Uh, Naked 3. It's the pink one, but it's like the cool, older, hipper sister <laughs> palette, I feel like. So I'm going to go into, I can't remember what I used this for. I think I used it for Modern Love on this side. See if I can intensify. Like it. Now I want to put in a little bit of GF, which is a charcoal color. And just want to add a little bit of depth to this look. So I got a little bit of it. Now I'm going to go back into Modern Love. So many lid options. Rose Brunch looks kind of tempting. So, I'm just gonna wipe off the flat brush I used on the silvery shade. It's a little bit wet, but not too wet. Oof, oh boy. This is flaky. Ooh, that looks rough. Okay, that was very crumbly. 
I don't love that pink with the gray. It kind of muddied it. Uh, let me try Mixed Emotions. It's the next pink shimmer shade. So it's like a faux cut crease, but I messed it up right there. So I'm just going to go back in with this. I don't know if my lids are just dry or this shadow is really dry. It feels like the shadow is really dry. Ah, that is not cute. Okay, I'm going to try Ruby Spar, which is a darker shade. Wow, I was expecting to like the pinks the most, and now I'm kind of like, ooh, I don't know. Huh. Okay, well then. So this is what I'm at right now. I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and come back and show you guys kind of what everything looks like with some mascara, a little bit juiced up. Okay guys, so here is the final look. This is like the sultry, sexy side, I feel like. And this is more like the angelic, good girl side. I don't know, that's kind of the vibes this palette gives me with those like intense dark shades at the end. So these were kind of two of the looks I had envisioned doing with this palette anyway. So yeah, overall my thoughts on the palette. Now this is my first time using it, first time swatching it. So don't take this as gospel. This is just like a first impressions because I wanted to get this video up for you guys. First impressions, I don't love it, I must say. Ooh, I was hoping that Millennial Pink would make me feel better than this guy, but now I think the Natasha Denona Love Palette is actually better than the Millennial Pink Palette. This formula is so dry. The shimmer shades are so crumbly and I don't know, it just does not remind me of the Amour Eternal Collection palettes. It kind of reminds me of the 27 palette, except I can even use the 27 palette because every time I opened it, the shades would just crumble to dust. Like literally the palettes were like shattering as I opened them because the magnets they use are pretty strong. So that didn't happen here. The shadows are in pristine condition, but oh, they're so chalky and like, ah, uh, the pigmentation is... I got good pigmentation from the dark shades, but like these shimmers are so dry and like the brush would not pick up the shadow. It would pick up like a bunch of the shimmer, but even with a wet brush when I usually have no problems foiling, I thought I was having a hard time foiling this shade pure. Um, I think I used Giving um, in my demo of this palette. I thought I was having a hard time picking that one up. So working with the Millennial Pink has been rough and maybe if you're lighter than me it'll be easier to get these shades to show up on your skin tone but for me I I'm like slowly like the dread is like setting in that I like pick this palette up as my second palette for February so I might give it a few more goes but I can totally see myself reaching out to Melt to see if I can return this palette because I really don't like it. I think it's a dud just based off of first impression. So don't get mad at me. I'm telling you a hundred times it's a first impression, but I seriously feel like I have a pretty good handle on how the formula should be. And even with my crumbly smoke sessions palette, I still, the shimmer shades go on like butter. So that's a little bit disheartening. I did kind of go through my palettes and try to pick out some like fun palettes that you might already have that could kind of give you like dupe the vibes. So of course I picked up my little Pat McGrath. This is the quad that came out over the holidays. I don't really like this much either, but if you have it, you might be able to pass on this one. And same with the, this is Mothership 7, I believe. So very similar vibes like pinks and you know this has more neutrals so you can do more everyday looks instead of like the smoky look and then I thought maybe the Huda retrograde palette and I like that this has that blue pop carry this one into spring and summer as well 
And then of course everyone's like, oh, it's like the new nudes palette. And yeah, of course it is, minus the two grays at the end. And um, I actually really like this palette. Really, really good formula. So just wanted to show you that. Also thought I would compare it to Huda's Desert Dusk for those like neutrally pink matte shades. You can definitely grab those from in here. Then I also have the Alter Ego palette that is the dupe for the Huda palette. If you're on a budget, you can consider this one if you don't wanna buy Huda. I also grabbed Modern Renaissance, not because the packaging is pink, but again, for some of those matte shades that I think will perform a lot better on ABH's side. I also grabbed my Enduring Love by Sydney Grace because I think like the mattes again are wonderful in this palette. So if you have this, you kind of have that vibe. Then for the really affordable option, I kind of felt like this coffee palette from I Heart Revolution kind of had those vibes and some neutrals again instead of the grays, but this palette's like what, 20 bucks or less? I can't even remember, but yeah, I'm kind of bummed. We'll see how it goes though. I'm gonna try it obviously some more, maybe within this week. It doesn't take me very long to figure out if I'm gonna love a palette or not. So stay tuned. I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully it goes well. I was feeling like the love palette was a dud and now I feel like this one is like a bigger dud. So I'd rather hold on to this one, but that was a miss and I feel like I should have seen that coming. I had such a good experience with their holiday collection that I wanted to grab this one and see what it was gonna be like. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.